This striking image of students standing in front of Old West is the first preserved photograph of Dickinson College. We can identify the date of this image with some precision because of a few telltale clues. First, the circular window near the crest of the front roof contains damage from a snowball fight that had occurred in December of 1860. Moreover, the state of the foliage on the trees, coupled with the cold weather dress of the students, suggests February or March of 1861 as the likely timing for the photograph. The date of the image suggests a powerful story. These two dozen young men, about half northern and half southern in their origins, are right in the middle of the nation's secession crisis and are soon to go to war against each other. While we suspect that most of the individuals pictured were members of the class of 1861, the sad truth is that we cannot get enough detail from the image to figure out exactly who is who. Yet there is one intriguing possibility. One of the earliest images we have is of South Carolina native Thomas Jefferson McCants, who graduated with the class of 1861 and who has been described in both contemporary letters and even historical fiction. A novel written about this period in Carlisle by the daughter of Herman Johnson, the college president, contains the memorable character Rex McAllister, a dashing young student from South Carolina who was reportedly based on McCants. Mary Johnson Dillon's descriptions of Rex as being slender with coal-black curls and a smoothly shaven face, as well as favoring a distinctive collar, broad palmetto hat, and a long coat leads us to speculate that McCants may have been this figure in the 1861 photograph of Old West. We may never know for sure, but we will certainly keep looking and trying to bring the history of Dickinson College to life in ways that can engage students today.